About 40 feet below the James River, shipbuilders prepare this dry dock for USS John C. Stennis' arrival. That's CVN 74. Here, they will begin its refueling and complex overhaul. It's a scene familiar to shipbuilders like P.J. Waller. Well, I've been here 40 years, and three quarters of my career has been spent in and around Dry Dock 11. As Waller's time on overhauls goes up, the countdown begins for USS John C. Stennis' arrival from Naval Station Norfolk. You think it's just another carrier, but each carrier is unique, just like people are unique. Shipbuilders with different skills work as a team. The best part is seeing everybody come together and communicate. From communication pipelines to actual pipelines. Every availability, we have to put the river water piping in there. We have to put a ventilation system in and, of course, the dock blocks go in. Redoing an entire sewage line, putting our containments around all the electrical gear. We probably got half a dozen, eight jobs going right at this very moment. Helping map these components in and around the dry dock are these handheld laser scanners. With this scanner, you can walk because it's simultaneously mapping, whereas the uh, other scanners we've used in the past would have to be on a tripod. Uh, you'd set the tripod up, it would take it scanning, you have to move and get to the next scan. So a much faster process. Everywhere you turn, there's a project with the main focus on safety. We're gonna just make sure it's a safe env environment for the ship to come in, for the employees that we work with and work together as a team and just bring the ship in. What looks like a large open space now will soon look like this when USS John C. Stennis arrives. USS John C. Stennis will join USS George Washington in the carrier overhaul arena. Shipbuilders will transition from one to the other without interruption. For Newport News Shipbuilding, I'm Lena Wallace.